it's now time for chat on showbiz where we talk about everything spicy salty tangy sweet everything's allowed and with me i have my two beautiful co-hosts ayushi chabra and tasneem rahim and today we're going to talk about kind of a difficult subject which has been going on a lot recently is trolling especially after the whole drug fiasco in bollywood bollywood stars and celebrities are being trolled quite a bit. And recently there was an ad out that Tanish Jewelry, which is based out of India, put out an ad that was talking about inter-religion marriages. A Hindu young woman was married into a Muslim uh, family and actually the mother-in-law was celebrating her culture. But people got really upset about this interfaith marriage. And now recently Akshay Kumar is being trolled because his new film, Lakshmi Bomb, his character is Muslim. His name is Asif. His girlfriend's name is Priya. And he is a ghost in the movie. He's a transgender in the movie. And he takes on the avatar of goddess Lakshmi. So let's stick to trolling though. Let's start with you, Tasneem. What is your reaction to all this? Honestly, I was surprised to see the backlash against the Tanishq ad. Um, tro- I'm not, I shouldn't be. Trolling is very common, sadly, and it happens everywhere. Um, it's so easy to troll, right? You sit behind your computer, you're faceless, and you can say whatever you want to whoever you want and not even think about the consequences. Think about what it's doing to the person and what kind of damage you may be causing to that person. So I was very sad. Um, the Danish ad especially, it promotes interfaith marriages, like you said, interreligion, uh, unity, and it's it's actually very beautiful. And it's really sad. And surprisingly, because India is has a Bollywood film industry where three of the leading superstars are Muslim and fans adore them and love them. And then to go and see this kind of backlash and the Akshay Kumar stuff was even more mind boggling. It's sad and it's scary. We're living in such divided times right now. And evidently, trolling in India has taken a face of its own. It's really sad because I wish Tanishq hadn't taken this ad down. The silver lining, I think, in all of this is that so many news channels are now talking about interfaith marriages and they're showing couples that, you know, fought for their love, you know, fought against all odds and made it happen. And I think wherever there's so much hate, there's also a lot of love. I hope that more people like us talk about this and that, you know, for every troll, there are like millions of people that have love to share. So I hope that like love really stands up, starts to speak up more and those voices need to now go away. So we need to speak up more so that those voices can go away. Guys, I don't know how many people know this, but I'm actually a product of an interfaith marriage. My mother is Christian. My father who passed away is Hindu. And we were taught that we should respect all religions. And I was raised as a Hindu, but uh, I, all, I, my father never stopped me from celebrating Christmas and going to church if I needed to. And my mother always celebrated Diwali and all the pujas at home. And so I, I also feel sad because in, that, in the ad, they actually show that a Muslim mother-in-law is celebrating her daughter-in-law who's Hindu, her tradition. So I think it's a beautiful amalgamation and people need to get together more and and you know India is do you know the most Muslims in the world live in India that's the highest populated Muslim country so guys we need to get along every religion and unfortunately religion is something that creates a divide you know go back in history all the wars are over religion. So I do see why some religious people got a little upset about a transgender Lakshmi um, it turning into Lakshmi and his name is Asif. I, I get it. I get people who are very conservative. They don't feel good about that. But I think trolling is, is um, kind of a little cowardly. I can see someone very religious or very conservative being a little you know, taken aback by what the film is promoting, Lakshmi Bomb, but it's a comedy. You can clearly see from the trailer that it's silly. It's kind of out of wacky and out of this world. So, you know, we can't make jokes anymore, take it for what it is. And at the end of the day, he's playing just a character. Just going back to the nepotism debate, but a couple of months ago when Sarat 2 came out and there were about eight point something million dislikes, 
and those were all trolls. But if those people who are arguing that the movie was a, you know, was a nepotistic movie or whatever, if they had actually bought a ticket to go and watch Son Chiria, Son Chiria would have had a 400% profit at the box office. So it's just interesting to see that the people who are, some of these people are just disliking stuff for the sake of disliking something. It just seems as if no people don't have much, anything else to do. So they're just hating for the sake of hating. Mm -hmm. um, if you really want to make a change, if something really bothers you, then you could have, you know what I mean? There are other ways to go about it instead of just hiding behind a keyboard and, um, you know, spreading hate in the world. Although with uh, Sarat 2, uh, Ayushi, I, I would like to say I would be the for another add one more to the dislike because that movie <laughs> terrible i fell asleep twice trying to watch that movie before the movie had even come out this was even before the movie came out people well, i know i hear you but it was a terrible movie <laughs> i'm just i'm being mean anyway um this is our opinion guys we'd like to hear your opinion whether you agree with us disagree with us this is an open forum and we really do enjoy hearing your opinions back so please do comment here and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel. Until next time, stay safe.